in this battle we're taking on my life support wasted and uh as you guys can clearly see by the team this is another reused clip unfortunately it's been like almost a week now and they still have not re-uploaded the game which is mildly annoying but we're gonna have to work with what we got here and hopefully it comes back at least like by the end of this week because <laughs> i'm running out of clips that i can reuse um so yeah, like anyways though, you can see once again, this is the uh, Mega Obama Snow team right here. And uh, once again, I did share um, the last time I used this, it was kind of just like, it was overall not something I personally would recommend. Although you can definitely use it. I mean, it's a fun Pokemon to use, although not really the best, to be honest, like comparatively to other Megas, like even power output. Like if I was going to use a Trick Room Mega, I would use Mega Ampharos instead um, and that's not even probably the best Trick Room Mega out there, but that's, that's like what I would use over the Obama Snow. But anyways, also you guys will probably see soon. If you haven't voted, go ahead and do it now. But, um, on the community tab, I did put out the, uh, potential Megas for the, uh, for the next, I guess, like, kind of series that we do here. And, uh, I mean, Charizard is gonna stay for quite a bit longer, I'd say. Like, probably, like, at least three to four more episodes. I don't know, actually. I'll have to figure that one out. Um, mainly, I, I kind of try and change it around, around when I get bored of it. Or, uh, you know, something like that. So, um, the three options were the, uh, Mega Gardevoir, the Mega Heracross, and the Mega Mobile. And, uh, that's because, like, everyone overall wanted to see those Pokemon, um, it was kind of mixed, but I saw those, like, the most. Um, but truth be told, it looks like Mawile is going to be the uh, Mega of choice because it has won the poll by quite a good amount. Although I will say it is um, partly unfortunate um, in a sense because I wasn't too big a fan of it since um, it just, uh, it's just like, it's an it's partly an Uber, but not really. But I don't, actually don't know. I mean, I guess it's fine. Like, it would be a lot of fun to use. I do like um, Power Output, and Mega Mawile is arguably... Probably the strongest Pokemon out there in terms of uh, just raw power output. And it can get stronger with Sword Stance. And I heard that like after a Sword Stance, actually, it can one-shot a Garchomp with the um, with the Sucker Punch. So that's definitely awesome. So, you know, that's one of the benefits that it does uh, bring to the table. Now, Gardevoir would have also been a lot of fun to use. I definitely wanted to try it out with the uh, Substitute, Hyper Voice, Calm Mind. Probably like Psychic or Psyshock or maybe Hidden Power Fire is the last move. Something like that is probably what I end up running. But, you know, that's all right. And Heracross, actually, I know the least about. And I really don't like its ability. But, you know, that's probably something that I'd still work for it anyways. Because base 185 attack is going to be a lot of fun. So, anyways, let's get to the actual battle here. So, you'll see he sent out the, um, I think it's a Kabuto. And that is just kind of sad. That's probably the reason I didn't even upload this battle in the first place. It's like, dang, what even is this right here? Like, what's he doing with that? Like, at that point, like, if I had a Kabuto, I wouldn't... Like, if you have a liability, don't send it out first. Like, you gotta send out your other Pokemon because someone might capitalize and try and set up. Like, you can win a 5v6. Like, that's very, very possible if you have the right Pokemon. But, you know, you don't want to be sending out your bad Pokemon. Like, use it as a sacrifice or something like that. Like, if it's not actually gonna bring anything to the table. So, anyways, um, I went for the Chili Reception here and I bring in the Obama Snow. Now, here, I decided to attack... Um, not because it's a good idea. Like, I already knew exactly what was going to happen. Like, Obama Snow was not taking hits, even with the, the full HP investment. But I was like, man, I just want to see how much damage you can do to a Metagross. And, like, I wasn't even planning to use this battle anyways because of the Kabuto. So I was kind of, like, just, like, curious here. So he's going to go for the, uh, Mega Wolf. And that's a clear sign that Obama Snow is not going to win this 1v1 no matter what happens. Because even if he somehow lives a Meteor Mash, he's not going to be living the Bullet Punch that comes afterwards. So, you know, that's that. Anyways, yeah, there there goes the, uh, Mega Evolution right there. Earth Power comes off. It's actually really close to finishing off the Metagross. Like, I bet if that wasn't a Mega, that probably would have KO'd. Actually, I don't know if Mega even gets better stats, but I'm pretty sure it does. But yeah, he one-shots right here, and he gets the uh, attack boost, which is tragic. And really, like, if I if I somehow brought him low enough, like, even, even if it was just like that, I could have ice sharded, like, if he lived. So, and, and like, he would have died to the hail damage. So that's that's definitely a tragic moment right there in WTJC Gaming. So now I gotta figure out who I want to send out. Like, this could be dangerous with the uh, bullet punch he's probably got going on. So I send out the uh, Coronite here. Really, stack attack would have also worked out perfectly. Well, it looks like I just go for the U-turn and try to finish off the Metagross. Don't want him to get any extra damage with the uh, bullet punch. I actually don't see the vision on that one. 
I I probably could have just gone to something else and try to capitalize off the uh, Metagross. But anyways, I got to figure out who I want to put out in front of the opposition. We got some good choices here since the Trick Room is up and we're guaranteed to outspeed. I think it definitely benefits a Pokemon like Primarina because of its slow speed tier. So it can definitely come in and fire off a really hard hitting Moonblast or even a Hydro Pump. It really depends because, uh, you know, you have a lot of customization there with the uh, moveset. Like Primarina learns a lot of awesome moves, including Energy Ball, I'm pretty sure. Psychic, you know, it's got its fairy coverage, its water coverage, it gets Ice Beam. Like, that's awesome. Like, it's just, it's a fun special attack here. Now, I don't really think this team worked as well with the Primarina. So, I know, like, you know, it can be really good. Although, you know, I definitely have to try and slot it in in the future, probably, and see if I can actually get something working. There are a lot of Pokemon I actually do want to try out that uh, that will probably be featured in the channel soon. Like, uh, some of my ideas, actually, would be to um, bring in something like... Uh, like my playthrough teams, I recently just played through Pokemon Y with my friend, and uh, you know I beat it. And I had a I had a pretty cool team. Um, five of my Pokemon were from the Kalos region, aka the X and Y or sixth generation. And I was gonna have all six, although I realized I probably should play the game with a Mega. And uh, therefore, I decided to get a um, non Gen six Pokemon. Um, although the unfortunate part about that was you couldn't even use the Mega until the post game, so. It was kind of pointless, but I didn't really care because I had a good nature that I liked. I had a jolly nature, and, uh, you know, it's it's a pretty cool Pokemon. It's pretty good that I wanted to actually fully try out. So I tried to use a Brick Bronze, but I got too lazy to level it up, and I will say it is a pseudo-legendary. But anyways, back on topic here. So the stack attack does come out, and uh, he sends out the Marshadow, which uh, is not really a good idea to stay into since the Trick Room is down, and we ain't outspeeding this even if we wanted to. And we're probably not living in close combat either since Marshmallow, or Mar hey, not Marsh, <laughs> almost said Marshmallow. Uh, Marshadow here has got the uh, crazy high, like 125 attack stat, it, it, combined with its really good speed. So Primarina is going to come out because Primarina can probably take a Spectral Teeth even at plus one. Since it's actually a pretty bulky Pokemon, and I'm pretty sure this one here should have um, a good amount of defensive investment. Hopefully, could even just have a modest nature. I'm actually not too sure. Like I probably pulled it up at some point but I know I wasn't really paying attention as y'all probably would have assumed so the uh Alakazam is going to come in here on the moon blast it's uh obviously going to take pretty pretty big damage although that's still kind of disappointing to an extent like I would have definitely liked more um since you know it's a choice specs and maybe I haven't invested fully I don't I think this is actually a full special attack investment I'm not too sure like I probably would have if I if I remember, I probably would have just done a full special attack, full HP, or something along those lines. Maybe a full like defense, full special attack, something like that. Um, if I was doing the uh, Prima Arena under the Trick Room, because you you don't really need speed um, when you have Trick Room most of the time. So, anyways, the Stack Attacker is going to come out here on the Alakazam. It's a pretty reliable switching unless the Alakazam has Focus Blast, and I was willing to gamble that this guy did it since he was using the uh, Kabuto. It's like who actually uses Kabuto? and uh has focus focus blast coverage which is not easy to get like there's no tm for that i'm pretty sure so you have to do the uh move shooter or the relearner which is definitely um not an easy job so anyways we uh fire up the gyro ball here it's definitely gonna one shot the alakazam because i mean second attack is attack is insanely high and gyro ball is gonna be extremely powerful too so anyways the uh, gyarados comes here to Shut down my uh, attack boost, but that's not an issue because we got Stone Edge and uh, that stab, and we're not even intimidated technically. This is just a standard stack attack. Uh, like Gyarados with Intimidate has pretty good defense, but without the Intimidate, it's actually not as good as one would think. So, you know, it's going to be weakened here, and it's going to take the Stone Edge. Not too good, though, so it's going to faint. Like, if I were him, I would have pivoted into something else. Like, probably, like, the Marshadow, that's still alive. Although, he didn't do that, and now we're at plus one. And that's definitely not a good place for him to be in. So now the Garchomp comes out, and I'm just going to go for the Gyro Ball, because, you know, that's going uh, to be Stab. It's not going to be Resisted by the uh, Garchomp since it doesn't you know have a type that resists it and in fact it's enough to one shot the Garchomp so if the Garchomp's gonna get one shotted there nothing else is gonna probably live on this guy's team so the Mars Shadow comes out that's basically the me and actually that's his last Pokemon so you know it's gonna be unfortunate for him so the Gyro Ball is gonna come out here and it's you know it's definitely gonna be enough to finish the job if not I mean he could also be running a Focus Sash you can 
um, expect that. But even if he was, I mean, we got Sizer, we got Bullet Punch. This is not a problem. So he's actually going to go for the uh, all-out Dynamax here. Goes for the last resort. It's kind of cringe, but like at least here, it doesn't matter. It's not going to save him from the uh, inevitable, which is the uh, the kill from the stack attack, uh, which is still enough to one-shot the Marsh Shadow even through the Dynamax. So that right there is going to be GG. Good game.